Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we followed Nightingale back to Cauldron Lake and managed to find his heart, uh, which was used to basically create a ritual to allow ourselves to cross over into the overlap where we fought Nightingale in a showdown, ultimately winning, and finding Alan and actually pulling him out of the dark place. So it seems, anyway. Um, I'm a little dubious that we actually managed to bring him back. Um, I'm a little dubious as to if we are actually back. But who knows? We shall see. So we saw this stuff last time. Something is nagging at me. Need to look at the case board. Oh, yeah. End of chapter. Yeah. Beautiful music that I can't play, unfortunately. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. These painkillers... Uh, Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Okay, easy there, Persona 5. With your take your times. Okay, wow. Um, oh my god, look at that. Should look around. Is that With the flooding gone? Could be further clues out there. Is the that the flooding disappeared very suddenly? I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. I wonder if that's uh Hartman's Institute over there. That'd be pretty cool. Very interesting. Okay, so... I cannot get up there. What am I doing? Optional. Investigate the previously flooded area or take the car back to Bright Falls. Okay. What am I investigating? You know, this area looks very different from the first game, like, where the... Well, I mean, that said, it's it's a fucking lake. I mean, look how huge this area is. What I was saying is, like, you know where, like, the cabin was in, like, the first game where, you know, you follow the bridge, or you go onto the bridge and you walk into the cabin, but then the sheriff's car when you're saying, like, you guys were there and when your wife went missing... Um, if, uh, like, uh, 
when she takes you back there is to show there's nothing there. It looks nothing like this area. But then again, it's look how fucking white this place is. Could be anywhere. Could be on the other side of the fucking of the lake. You know, that actually brings up another good point. Um, I wonder if... I mean, I, I mentioned at the end of the last episode that I'm actually surprised that um, Alan Wake is back. Because, I again, I thought he'd be in the dark place for, like, the majority of the game. I wonder if we get to see, like, Barry and, and Alan's wife. Uh, I forget her name. Uh, oh, my God. Something killed that thing. Something ate that thing. Uh, was her name Alice? I can't even remember now. What am I looking for? Exactly. Is this the way back to the car? I mean, I guess not, because they're not following me. Seems like the way back to the car. Check here first. Assuming I can go through here. Oh, is that a stash? A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Oh, that was easy. Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals. And it's our job to hunt them and gut them. So we got... I'm guessing that's a flare. Ooh, another pack to extend? Yeah. Bullets and... Really? Propane? What is this for? Throwable gas canister. Detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. Oh, cool. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh my god, I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, is that it? No, optional. Still there. Is that the tree? Is that the witch's ladle? Or is this the other side? Oh god, why did the color change? You can turn by quickly pressing backwards twice. Why? It's a little clunky, but okay. Why? Yeah, this is the other side of the witch's ladle. I thought we got rid of the darkness. Holy shit. Is that a wolf? Holy fuck. Fuck, how many pulls does this thing take? Oh, come on. Where are you? Even the animals are turning into monsters. Oh man. Yeah, look at that. Okay, 
Okay, let's find your station. So this way takes us back to the witch's hut. So wait, does this mean that like this area is open now? Oh yeah, because it was flooded. Saga burns away the dark substance. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Uh, if you say so. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Okay. Lights? Is it like a flashlight? Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, from the first. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, take that. Yeah, they're like completely hidden. Nice. The cult is watching right now. Oh, jeez. Gonna get ambushed, aren't I? Okay, so this led over there, and there was a dead end here, right? Yeah, it was a dead end. Bridge. Where does that take us? Well, that takes us to the complete other side of the river. Okay, so this one looks like it ends. Today's catch a yellow perch and a mid sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something? Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices the quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Aw, that's sad. That's it? Nothing else? Yeah. Alrighty. Man, it sure is dusk for like hours at a time here. Streamside Cauldron Lake. Oh, hello. There's something written here. 
A poem? Or a riddle? Mystery rhymes. Wait, what is this? Is that FBC? Certainly looks like FBC equipment. Yeah, Federal Bureau of Control. Okay. Alright, let's check this out first. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two birds for darkness. Three birds for a fright, for a fight, four birds for a struggle. Five birds for injury, six for misery. Seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Okay. Oh, I need to put something here. I don't have anything to put. So it dies down if I get close, okay. I don't know what it's doing. A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. I have no idea. Okay, let's let's check this out. See what's going on here. Okay, Hart was in a fridge at the Bandit General store. Who put it there? Oh, that's actually a good question. Case closed. <laughs> With the body of Alan Wake. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Guys, I fucking solved it. I just got it. Nightingale was bloated as fuck, right? Because he came out of the water. It's because he ate Alan. And then when we killed him, Alan broke free. And there was like the chest cavity, like the heart was ripped out. We pulled the page. No one shoved it in. It was Alan writing while he was inside Nightingale. It's fucking... I got it. I should be a fucking FBI agent. I killed Nightingale. I had to. He was a monster. The flooding around Cauldron Lake receded afterwards. Nothing about this makes rational sense. We found Alan Wake, a rider missing for 13 years at the shore of the lake. Hopefully he can shed some light on this. No. No, he can't. He, he definitely cannot. Okay, so... Okay, so the cult stash, we got one. So, stash found by a bridge near Cauldron Lake. Uh, that goes up there. Cult stash has an ominous, creepy warning note inside. And the stash found at the Cauldron Lake Shore. There's a note inside to encourage cultists to dehumanize their victims. Cool. Cult of the Tree. Note reminding cultists that victims are like animals. I'm guessing they'll be cult psychology. Yeah. yeah. Dehumanizing their victims. They are the predators. Their victims are just prey. Okay, so the nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Okay. These mysterious rhymes are scattered around the area. Why are they out here? Who's making them? So there's... A, they're in a lot of places. Well, I guess just Cauldron Lake and Bright Falls. What are these who made them? And Strange Dolls. So I'm guessing this. Crow Doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Kind of reads more like an owl to me. Found a, sh a strange rhyme of... Sh on a sheet of paper with children's drawings. 
So this cauldron lake? No. What are these and who made them? What is this setup? Why the tripod? Some kind of experiment? Excellent question. Wide awake. I'm guessing that's the chapter and chapter end of music. Okay. So if there's a bunch of dolls, that explains all this shit here. One bird for light. Something feels different. I should look around. Oh. What is that? Charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Charms have various benefits. Huh. Equipping that them might strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. <laughs> Equip them by placing them in the charm slots in the inventory. Okay. Attack stagger enemies more often. The hammer charm. Sure. Uh, no. So reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Completing the puzzle made the world change. What's going on here? A charm appeared at the side of the rhyme. Charm appeared. Where did it come from? I wonder if there are others. Rhyme found near the bridge at Cauldron Lake. So I'm guessing that's this one. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus! Well, that... Yeah. Fuck. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Something feels different. I should look around. Okay. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. So where did that asshole come from? Can I take that back? Yeah, I can. And we can't interact with the rhyme anymore, which means we're done here. So where are you? <sighs> okay, no. You can't just have appeared out of nowhere just for shock value. That's fucking stupid. up here. I'm afraid to look at the map. Okay, so might as well go to the Witchfinder station. Okay. I guess it just wanted to punish us for taking too long can I climb this? I can. Mm. 
Okay, now I'm actually legitimately tense. The murder sites. I'll have to remember that one. Doors open back there. Ooh, another one. Another one of those rhymes. Okay, before I, I'm just going to do a quick look around inside. Okay, I don't think there's anyone here. Unless they're upstairs, which, that's fine. We should be okay to read this right now. Wait. Oh, it was this thing dying down. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. In the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Interesting. I'm actually a little tense for it being so quiet. You were a handsome deer. I mean, you're all right. What's what's your fetish with these things, Saga? What does that say? Bright Falls record, Cauldron Lake closed. Where is Alan Wake? Mystery writer mysteriously disappears. Slinky, the world's cutest cat. Man gives birth to toy elephant? Skeptics say Earth is actually flat. I mean, yeah, they're skeptics. Is it really that simple? I guess so. Experimentation update. Dr. Campbell to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here's the promise update on the project's first experimentations. The test items were used were plastic, figure, plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, lead researcher of the Department of Parafictional Research. Parafictional? Like nonfiction? Or fiction, technically? Supernatural fiction? Project Nursery Rhymes, working title. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic, as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will in le indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. What? Expertise in, mytho expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing. Okay. You know, I just realized where the fuck is everyone? You just stay there, alright? The Beast Within by. What name is that? Julia Levine. Uh oh. Is that supposed to be like an ominous title? The beast within, meaning someone's here and he's beastly. I'm gonna be attacked. Oh, fucking rubber ducky. I don't trust you, bro. 
Watson's control. Is that me? No. Oh god, I'm gonna be attacked, aren't I? I'm, I'm coming up. Wow. Wow, they got like working bathrooms in here, eh? Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. Objective. Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. Utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, hereinafter referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events, after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration. That was a mouthful. Or by the fiction itself being the initiating, initiating force in its present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. So either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to the later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes a catalyst for these past events, after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with a specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. So basically it's saying there are two ways in which fiction could affect reality as per the hypothesis. Um, either kind of by like a self-fulfilling prophecy where, you know, stuff happens in the past and the writer just like, unknowingly writes about it and it becomes like fiction like the tortoise and the hare like it would have actually happened and then a writer wrote about it or if the writer you know writes it and then it becomes true kind of thing Hero doll, okay. A wolf doll. Location arrangements. Which finder station two, stream side one, cauldron rental cabins. Cauldron lake rental cabins one. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So there's two here. Alright, I'm gonna... go to my mind palace and start putting stuff together. I, I think I should be relatively safe here. 
Okay, rhyme found near the Bridge of Cauldron Lake. That goes up here. A rhyme about counting crows. Each number of crows has a different meaning. FBC file listing test sites at Cauldron, in Cauldron Lake. So the locations are Witchfinder Station, Streamside, and Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. Yep. The wolf doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle mm. that goes here. Has a pretty good paint job. Nice detail. The hero doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Is that a foil lining? Someone put in a lot of effort. FBC file on the reality altering effects of the nursery rhyme. I'm guessing that's down here. So the FBC is researching how fiction affects reality. Sounds familiar. An email from the author of the rhymes, Dr. Eugene Campbell. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. FBC created the rhymes. That always goes well. Research to see if nursery rhymes have power to affect the future. Weird. So reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. It goes there. Completing the puzzle made the world change. What's going on here? Charm appeared at the side of the rhyme. Where did it come from? I wonder if there are others. That's all of them, right? Yeah. Oh, the manuscript page, right. The murder sites. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Hmm. Oh, we got thing here too. Increases reload speed. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restored health depends on the strength of the enemy. Okay. How many remain? Eight remaining. Okay. All right, I think we learned all we're going to here. So I'm wondering if this is actually in any way tied to Dr. Hartman. Because, um, like, his institute in the first game, like, where Alan went to, um, we saw some other people there. Like, we saw the the game designer. We saw the artist. We saw the Anderson brothers, right? The artist was actually painting stuff of, um, uh, you know, stuff that was that had come to pass or was going to come to pass. Like he drew us, he drew the darkness, that kind of shit, right? Um, the game designer, he, I forgot exactly what he did. Um, but the Anderson brothers, like basically they made songs about, about the darkness and how to overcome it and shit, right? So I'm wondering if it's uh, in any way tied to that. Where am I? Okay.
Because, like, that's also fiction... Uh, a fiction created by reality kind of thing. It, it, although, I would suspect that it was... Um, what the fuck is that? The cottage. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Um, I don't know how to bring that down. Um, what was I saying? So there's a light. Oh, it's locked. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range. Here you'll find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. Hey, that wolf fucking came after me first. Although it wasn't gray, but that thing was out for fucking blood. The Pacific Northwest uh, region's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands and dry desert plateaus cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer, coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna. The majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It, tru it is truly the nature lover's paradise. Well, I certainly try to be a nature lover. Oh, same thing? Oh, that's shitty. Okay, so from there we went up to the Witchfinder station. Every time I say Witchfinder, it makes me think of Witchfinder General. Oh, there's a sign... I hear them. Are you here? Yeah, you're right there. Oh, there's two of you. Uh, never mind. No, don't, don't worry about me. No, it's okay. It's you can stay where you are. It's it's all good. It was already too late. Was it? Control. I know it was a great game. Alright guys. You technically shouldn't be able to see me with the light here. Yeah, now you're telling me about the fucking dodge. Can you fucking die, please? Oh, you're getting shot, man. Oh my god, that was one hit. Oh my god, they drop items. I'm saying oh my god a lot. Oh, it's got a backpack. That's probably why. What is this? Is that an arrow? Crossbow bolts. Moderate flight time and high penetration power. Nice, nice. Stores a good amount of health. Oh, they can only hold two at a time. Oh, that's shitty. Well, fuck.
Oh, now I got more bullets. Oh, another one. Lovely. There's a rhyme over here. A mother of crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best. To protect her home from the beast coming to feast, only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Okay, so I think we have all these. The crow, the beast I'm going to guess is the wolf, and the hero. So Mother Crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best. To protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. So, hero goes here. Wolf goes there, and Br Crow goes here. Nah. <laughs> Nah. That's not right. Isn't it? Oh, there we go. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Is the game glitching again? Fuck. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Okay, so before I read that, um, let's see what this is here. Yes, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty came down from NYC and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice views you got here. Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Camping do's and don'ts from your friendly park ranger. Do hike and enjoy the scenery. Set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal, relax. Don't chop down trees, leave your trash behind, be loud and obnoxious, or stutter for his fire. Yeah, I don't do any of those. Um, I'm wondering if... The, um... That bird box was the thing. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is that another big bad wolf? Where are you? Yeah, it did. Came down. Another charm for my bracelet. There you are. 
I missed. Ah. I'm very sorry if it's if it's bugging out guys. It's bugging out on me too. All right, what do we get? Increases hand flares duration and area effect. Sure. Palace here. Oops. Right. So dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. Um, that one there. Yeah. Looks like a trail. Does it want me to follow? Oh, was was there actually a trail? I didn't realize. And rhyme found at the river near Cauldron Lake. So that goes up here. In the rhyme, the mother crow tried to protect its nest, but ultimately failed. That was all the stuff, right? Oh, and the manuscript page, right. The Cult of the Tree. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. All right, and we will do a save there. And I think that's it for now. Um, interesting, uh, interesting episode. Not a lot happens story-wise, but uh, you know the, these rhyme things are certainly interesting. I, I hope we do find more. Uh, it looks like they were almost done though, but I, I guess there was more in Bright Falls, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.